great sunny morning everyone so be with me today as I show you the chores I have at home so we're gonna fix that we're gonna fold those blankets we're gonna align those pillows and we're gonna gather those clothes to organize them in my drawers so now that I am Finish with my room. I'll then go to the living and the dining area to fix all of those stuff scattered in there. So first, I'll gonna open the blinds right from the dining area down to the living area. So let's go. Let's open up and pull over some blinds. And yes, we are now done with the first blind. So let's go to the second blind and pull it over. It's quite a bit hard because I'm filming this and I can properly open it by my two hands because I'm filming and I'm holding my camera. And now let's go to the living area and pull over the last blind we have. Yay, we're down for the last blind and let's keep going and do the chores we had for the day. And now we're finally done opening them all the blinds from the dining and the living area of the house. So after opening all the blinds, let's us now sweep the floor. It was easy for me to sweep the floor because my mom already mopped the floor last night and so now all I'm going to do is to clean all the excess dirt left. So after my online class, this was been my habit that whatever dishes left in the sink, I am the one who is responsible to wash it. So first, I'm gonna rinse off those foods left in the plates and in the glasses. So whenever I'm going to put some dishwashing on it, um, it will not be that greasy. When washing the dishes, I am making sure that every part of the utensils I wash were thoroughly be cleaned. washing the dishes it is now time to wash the sink itself to drove away or to make it sure that it is well cleaned and to keep away contamination so after i have washed the sink itself to make it look shiny and clean i'm going to spray it with this multi-surface cleaner so this is what it looks like after I have cleaned the sink and washed all the dishes. So for this part, we are on the third kitchen of our house and on this day, I have decided to clean my electric fan because it's been weeks since I have cleaned it. So for these chores, I usually do it or I usually clean my electric fan two to three times a month. We're gonna clean up those dust that was been stuck in there for weeks. So I prefer washing it rather than just wiping all those dust away because I cannot really guarantee how clean it is when just I am wiping away those dirt. So it's very essential for us to clean our electric fan one to two times a month because too much dirt stuck on it may cause allergies to us after i have washed those parts of the electric pan i'm going to let it dry for about an hour for me to be able to put it back and assemble it back in its original position so whenever i have time in the afternoon Especially when I don't have any classes or online classes, 
I always be checking our floor whether it is so at night it is still my duty to pull out or to close all the blinds in the house so I'm just gonna insert here the video that I am closing the blinds upstairs it is an advantage for those people who know how to clean their own houses because it cannot only guarantee us a or it cannot only give us a clean house, but it can also give us a healthy everyday living. So I guess that's it for this vlog. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching me doing my chores. So thank you and God.